Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own Chinese paper lantern. To start this project, you're going to need the downloadable sheets from the website weichim.com. You're going to need a long stick, like a pencil, or a, in this case I have a takeaway chopstick. You're going to need a pipe cleaner, or a chenille stick, as they're sometimes called. Um, you'll need scissors and a hole punch just to be able to cut pages, your pages out. And you can create an optional tassel. You'll see I've done it here with just pieces of ribbon that I folded in half and then tied, a, tied an extra bit of ribbon around. So the first step is you're going to take your sheets, your coloring sheets that you can download from waychim.com, and you're going to color in the eight separate strips that you can see. Now these eight strips are going to make up the body of your lantern. Um, you'll notice that a lot of times with Chinese lanterns, their most popular color is red because red means good fortune or good luck. Um, but you can make your lantern any color you want. In fact, what I've done is made a whole bunch of colored all the strips differently and so I can make a rainbow lantern. So once you've colored, colored your strips, um, you can take your scissor and just cut them out and then punch holes at either end like you can see on this strip, on these strips here. Once you're done with that, you're going to set your strips down and you're going to take your pipe cleaner. Now take your pipe cleaner and maybe go just about halfway, halfway down the pipe cleaner. You're going to make a chink and you can do that simply by twisting the pipe cleaner around like so. This chink is just to stop your strips of paper from falling through. So then once you've made a chink about a little bit about halfway through down the pipe cleaner, you're going to take your strips of paper and you're going to thread the holes of one end of the strips through the pipe cleaner and stacking the pages on top like so. So there are eight strips all together. And, you're just gonna, and you'll see that the kink is keeping them from going all the way down to the other end of the pipe cleaner. Now, Chinese lanterns are usually, you can find them on a lot of cultural festivals like Chinese New Year, um, other celebrations like the Day of Double Fits, like the Dragon Boat Races. And really, they're just colorful decorations that um, have just a lot of cultural significance and are very popular in Chinese festivities. So once you've done that, and you've got all your pages stacked, you're going to gently fold, bend them over, and then what you're going to do is thread the other hole through the other side of the pipe cleaner. So first we threaded it through this side, now we're going to thread it through this side. Now you want to just hold your pipe cleaner so it doesn't go all, so your pages don't go all the way down, so maybe just about a third of the way down. Just keep your finger there as you thread your strips through. And notice that you should thread them in the same order that you threaded the top ones, just so that you have a neat stack of pages rather than paper flying all over the place. So just thread them through one by one again until you've got something that looks like that. Now what you want to do is just going to gently bend your, all of your strips together so that they form a little bit of an arch, a little bit of a half moon shape like that. And just when that's about there, you're going to take your pipe cleaner again and you're going to make another chink, this time on the outside of the pages. And again, that's just to keep the paper together in that dome shape so it doesn't fall through. So you end up with something like this. Now what you want to do is you take the top end of the pipe cleaner, the first end that you threaded everything through, you're gonna wrap that end around your stick, like the chopstick. So you're just gonna wrap it around a couple times so that it doesn't fall over. Just like that. And now, all you're gonna do is you're gonna fan out the strips of paper, now that you've got, and just fan them out so that it forms a bit of a ball, a bit of a ball, and this is going to be the body of your lantern. All right, so just be mindful. Don't don't put force it, or else you might tear the paper. And just make sure that some of them aren't caught underneath each other, which sometimes can happen. So that, but if if you thread them out, 
and just like this one, you can, I can just wrap it tighter so that there's more room. If you thread them out, you'll have a bit of a ball shape. And that's going to be your lantern. So see, that's kind of coming together and looking a lot like a lantern. Whoops, that piece is just stuck over there. So now the final thing you have to do is just attach your tassel. And all you do for that is take your tassel and wrap it around the other end of the pipe cleaner, just like that. And again, the tassel I just made with ribbon and folded it in half and tied it together. And you can do that with bits of string or even other strips of paper if you wanted to. And once you've done that and you spread your pages around, you've got yourself your very own festive Chinese lantern. See? It's very easy. Right. I hope you enjoyed your craft. Um, you can find other great Chinese themed activities on weichim.com. Thanks!